All right, so today we're talking about Adrenaline. This, uh, a very, very interesting card. A lot of things to talk about here. It's a lot more nuanced than players assume it is. It's not simply just you get another turn this round. There's more to it when it comes to this card. So let's break it down first. Uh, this HE Thymos technique, uh, Swift Speed, and it's Energy 5. Remove all exert tokens from yourself. Uh, this artwork is done by Demian and card is created by Lionel. It stayed an uncommon going from its earlier print run uh, to its current print run. And there's a reason why it's an uncommon. Uh, it does see quite a bit of play, but not as intensely as a card like Epiphany or Subjugation Strike. Uh, looking at this artwork, again, a lot of really, really solid artwork pieces. Uh, I just love the anger and the intensity that is behind Idris here. Uh, and it's also really cool because we don't really see Idris as a fighter that often. So this artwork depicting this between this and Balcry, you can tell that she's someone who uh, allows herself to be in the thick of combat. There's a lot more to her than just a mage who stands back and throws fireballs. Uh, there is... A presence that she brings to the battlefield and that's something that's explored quite a bit not just her artwork but also her storyline uh talking about the history of this card i remember lionel designing it there was a lot of back and forth on what to do uh eventually we came to this decision we were trying to figure out how playable this card was and after some playtesting we realized it's good but there is quite a bit of edge cases where it doesn't work the way you expect it to and then also, uh, how do you how do you get the most advantage out of it? So uh, let's just talk. I don't think there's a lot to talk about, like direct history, uh, but let's talk about just gameplay about it. So um, one thing to keep in mind when it comes to the way adrenaline works is that if you have the last turn in the round. Just say the only two units on the board is your opponent champion and your champion. And you end up, they go first and you, uh, they take their turn, exert themselves. Then on your turn, you go through your move phase. Then you go to your main phase and you do your attack, exerting yourself, right? Then you go to your end phase. And during your end phase, you play adrenaline to remove your exert token. Well, now you're still in your end phase. You don't just go from your end phase back to your move phase. You stay in your end phase. And at the end of your end phase, you become exerted anyways. So you do can't use adrenaline in that case to get a second turn. You can use it to do more swift abilities. So if you have a thrust in hand or, um, you know, foresight of the ancient or something like that, then you can use adrenaline to gain that advantage back to yourself but you can't use it to gain another turn. Where adrenaline does help is if you go first, you take your turn, you exert yourself, your opponent goes, and then during your opponent's end phase, you play adrenaline, removing your exert token, and then you get another turn after that. So this is a card that does have a favoritism towards going first in the round. Also, if you do it during the end of round, so just say you tried, you're going second in the round, your opponent goes first, uh, they take their turn, then you go, and then you're like, okay, I know that playing in my end phase doesn't make sense. Let's go to the end of round and then play adrenaline. Well, you go to the end of round, you play adrenaline, you remove your exert token, but you're still in the end of round. You don't go back to the turns. Everything is a waterfall. You can only go forward. You can't go backwards. So once you're in your end of round, uh, the round ends. Even though you're not exerted, the round will still just end. And then you go to the next round, removing all exert tokens, and go uh, go for your next round. So you don't get to capitalize at that point. However, there are particular moves that you can do that are profitable. And so you can... Um, so if you have Odara, for example, you play Odara, and then you spur a summon, which exerts yourself, but removes their exert tokens. And then during... Uh, during your summons turn, you then uh, play Adrenaline, allowing you to now get a turn after your summon goes. There's an advantage, a way to kind of tweak the system. Uh, adrenaline is in the same uh, colors as Baruch, 
So if you drop any Blitz Summon, this is where you could take an advantage, even if you're the last unit to go in every single round. If your champion is the last one to go in every single round, then you can, during your champion's turn, drop a Blitz Summon, and then during your summon's turn, play Adrenaline, and then unexert yourself, and then take another turn after that. Those are things that you can do. This is a card that that nuance does trap players in a particular moment, and it can hurt. Especially when you're paying that much energy and that much chi to play the ability, you're not going to get the advantages you're looking to get. So that's uh, where I put adrenaline. Playability wise, I would run this in a Dar deck. I would look into it for an Idris deck, especially if you're playing Idris Blitz. It might be something I would run in uh, the Forethought. I don't know if I'd put it in the main deck. Uh, but I think experiment around with it. Try it in a casual format. Try it at your local event uh, and see how it goes from there. Because I I know that there is a lot of value add uh, for getting adrenaline out there. But there's going to be times where you get caught in a situation where adrenaline will do nothing for you. Uh, now, if you're playing someone like, I guess none of the Simons champions have three attack yet. But if you got Malik, for example, you could do your heavy attack, exerting yourself, play Adrenaline, remove the counter, be in your end phase, and do your swift attack. And that's how you can get six damage in. But it's still a very risky card to have in your hand if you are not leading the round. Uh, so that's all I have to say about Adrenaline. Hope you love this video. I... Uh, uh, you know, like and subscribe. I always forget to put that up there. And that's it for today. If you haven't uh, signed up for the championship, go do that. And then we will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye. Hey, I just want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to all our Patreon supporters. You help us so much when it comes to doing these videos, uh, keeping the lights on here at Haunted Castle Gaming. But also, just in general, a reminder every single day that we are doing this project for you, the Patreon members, for the players, for the community. And it's just a regular reminder that there are people out there that support this game. So thank you so much for all your support. I really, really appreciate it. Bye.